What's up, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Y'all gotta have to forgive me. Not feeling the best right now. But I had to get up and get to work. On my way back home from work, but y'all can tell by the sound of my voice. I am not hundred percent right now. I'm about 75. It's about 75. I feel okay. A little headache, but <laughs> been uh getting rid of this mucus. And uh about to go home and get some more rest. But I just wanted to come to y'all right now. Uh, hit that thumbs up and notification bell. And uh oh, headache. Uh got some bad news last night. Well, Well, I guess, I don't know how to say it. Uh, not bad news involving me, but bad news to the, well, rumors of bad news, you know what I'm saying? There's some things that could take place with the uh, independent party as far as RFK and his VP pick, Shanahan. So, I guess uh, apparently she was on a, a podcast, whatever, and was talking. She made it sound like they weighing their options right now on what to do. Because with all the, the stunts that the Democratic Party has been doing to RFK, just crazy stuff, trying to block him from being on the ballot and stuff he got going on in court and up on the East Coast, trying to say he don't live where he live. Even though he has property and all that. It, There's a lot of crazy stuff that they're doing this they've been doing to keep him off the ballot. And, uh, and as of, uh, now, no, I, I, I think Trump is scared. I think when that shot, when they, they attempted on him, you can call it whatever you want. I think that was a warning. He was good at that time and everything, threw his fist up and was coming out. But now, I think the people, they, they got to him like, hey, we just wanna let you know this is a warning. If you continue to go through this and pull full steam, we gonna blow the noodles out of you. And, and that's gonna be that. Them people, the higher ups, we all know who we talking about, the people who we say, uh, truly run the uh, the world and the country. Because it was pointed out, you know what, he ain't sounding the same in the last few uh, meetings or press conferences or whatever he didn't had where he spoke. You can see he sounds like he's just like, man, I'm tired of this. I'm just so over this. And my only thing was like, you know what? <laughs> if he doesn't want to be there, what would be his reason for not being there? It would make him really be uh scared. And I was like, you know what? Them people must got a hold to him. Like that uh Simpsons episode is gonna come true if you keep you keep playing this shit out. That's what I think. But RFK and uh so Shanahan was speaking and uh And she basically was saying, you know, we're holding, we're kind of hurting, we're hurting both, both sides of the political party, Republicans and Democrats, by taking votes from both sides. But the way they see, like, it's almost like they're taking more votes from Trump. And I guess you could say for the greater good of, of the cause that. It's an option. Maybe it could be an option. They'd rather not have Kamala as president, basically. They'd rather back down, 
show support for Trump than to continue on with running for uh, presidency of the United States. And I was like, damn. But there's some good things if they continue to run. Because I, I, I heard they only need maybe, maybe 7% of the votes for they can be a, actually a legitimate party and get funding which they'll get capital which is like 10 million 15 million somewhere in there to that so which this is what I've always said with this even if RFK didn't win I think this these are the stones that need to be set in place for after the four years is coming up the independent party will be oh, this is crazy. Here we go with this traffic. Man, these last few days in Dallas has been just crazy with traffic and accidents. I'm about tired of it. And I ain't even in Dallas. I'm about like, a, where am I? I'm 40 miles outside of Dallas. No, actually. It's 175, so yeah, I'm almost 60 miles outside of the city. And this, on I-20 West for eight miles. It's, it's crazy. That, that, this one threw me off. But make a detour but so it would signify that the party the independent party is established again and we can continue to build momentum from that and that's what I honestly think should happen if you're really tired of two parties this is this is the only route that I see yeah he may not get in now but either one of them two is gone they gonna fuck it up Somebody gonna fuck it up. <laughs> so unless they do a tremendous job on getting everybody back in line, then uh, which I don't see happening because the two-party system is, like I said before, it's just about putting each other against each other. You're not doing anything, and if you're a Democrat. Really go over the last 30, 40 years, the stuff that they've been promising, they saying they gonna get done. Ain't none of that shit got done. <laughs> ain't nothing. We ain't, ain't got nothing. Nothing at all. So. So, I guess uh, Trump and RFK had a conversation, which I think that guy got spilled out into the media like a couple weeks ago. And so they asked Trump about it because this just came out like within the last 24 hours. And he said, you know, I ain't got no problem with him. And they asked him, would it be a place for uh, RFK and his team somewhere? <laughs> he was like, you know, he's a good, good person. Uh, Smart, da 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 da. No problem with him. I think, you know, if he, he, he wants to throw in the towel and, and, and join, then uh, we can make something work. We'll figure it out. So I'm like, ah, here we go. But, I don't know. I mean, if it happens, it happens. I can't say I'm going to vote. Like I said, I, I, I know I'm not voting. Actually, I'm not voting for nobody who ain't got nothing in the things that I need to survive, which is health care. I'm talking about really affordable health care. Everybody throw health care uh, affordable around like people throw love around. Mm -mm. This shit needs to be really affordable for all people because there's no reason why I work and I got to pay a thousand dollars. Out of every one of my checks for uh, health insurance. <laughs> There's no reason for a family. This is almost over a thousand dollars a week. There's no reason I should have to pay that. that. That's fucking asinine. So we need that uh, universal health care for all. 
uh, we need the whole real estate, I say the debt to ratio and affordable housing, and once again, affordable. Uh, then we need to get that inflation down, the affordable housing. It's like I said, everybody can't afford no 400,000 dollar properties and make a payment for 30 years. <laughs> and then really, you never even own that. Yeah, you pay it, but they can take your shit if they want to take your shit. So that, that just makes no sense for me to pay that. <sighs> but, yeah, so I'm saying healthcare, uh, affordable housing, uh, funding for the teachers, schools, the poverty area that uh, needs everything. Uh, like I said, forgive me, I'm sick. My mind is just a little bit everywhere right now. Uh, but my main thing is, yeah, everything being affordable right now because everything is it's crazy. And unless they come up with a plan to say for each state, this is a wage that you, uh, companies have to pay, which I, I'm great with that. Because they didn't, they didn't already throw out these numbers that uh, state wages, what it costs to live in these states. And if all the jobs are going to one state where everything is high to live, then hey, these companies need to pay them wages. I don't care what you're doing. Uh, I'm with the minimum wage should be a higher rate, which by state, because uh, $15, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't live nowhere on $15 an hour in the state of Texas. Nowhere. Now, if you can find something in a small town on the outskirts, not in the metroplex, you probably could. You probably can make that work. <laughs> Fifteen dollars an hour, but you're not gonna have no job. Job, you're gonna be Subway, McDonald's, or something like that. Because, like I said, most companies are not putting uh, the stuff in the city. But yeah, so that would be great. Because if you pay the living wage by state, I think that would be great. That would catch us up a, a lot. I don't see no American person complain. You know how the rich people, but <laughs> majority of people go complain or will be business owners. But I think there needs to be something set in place where if you're a small business owner, then we'll, uh, you'll get deductions or credits. For that uh for that wage that you gotta pay out. Something needs to be in place with that. But I think they do need to get that all up for the American people. The cost of living wage, nobody's income has gone up. And as I said in videos before, uh jobs being outsourced, foreign countries. Uh because companies want to pay lower wages and then tax their ass. Tax them and get that money back to the people. If you, if you want to outsource your American built companies that were founded here in the US, built here off the backs of the American people and workers, then we just, let's tax them harder. That's my personal thought. But I'm not a big economist and, and none of this, you know. I really don't understand the ins and outs. It's just it's crazy to me how they make everything so difficult. And when things can just be simple. But, yeah, so. <coughs> so with RFK, you know what? Uh, the only way I can see myself, he was that way. Uh, uh, Trump would have to get rid of his VP pick and put, uh, RFK is VP. That that's the only way I can see myself actually voting for that side. 
you're taking a chance on this side. But, uh, like I said, none of them were actually, I haven't heard. Nobody's real policy on uh, doing anything for the American people. Helping the homeless. Lower class, which middle class is the lower class now, so y'all a part of that. If you used to be middle class, you, we're the lower class, then there's the poor class. <laughs> so the lower class is gonna be down there with y'all, so don't, if we don't do anything, you know, I think we keep going off these same two problems. But hey, I just wanted to come with y'all and share that the news, you know, if RFK really gonna join forces with Trump, which like I said, I can see an enemy of my enemy is an enemy. <laughs> and all the stuff the Democrats been doing to RFK, man, it, it would be a blow. And, and then I got, what, my girl, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, man, the way they be doing her, Apparently, she's, uh, <laughs> they say she's helping the Trump organization now, supposedly. Uh, I think the Democrats gonna learn if you keep going after people, people, eventually they gonna come, come, come back to you. I guess they ain't read 48 Laws of Power. Eventually they gonna come back. You just, they gonna come back and bite you in the ass. You keep doing shit to people. And that's with both sides. Somebody's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. But it seems like the Democrats right now, people is coming back to get their ass. For the shit they doing and <laughs> what Drake say when the enemies of my enemies start linking up. It's almost gonna be like another uh, uh, K dot <laughs> situation. Will the Republicans just go hell? I don't know, but shit's getting crazy, y'all. And we still got a few more months. I'm just ready for this shit to be over. I'm tired of seeing them all on the screen. Obama's and them came out yesterday. I haven't watched it, but they said Michelle gave a great speech. But what I have noticed is all they keep doing is talking about Trump. I'm not hearing no policies. I'm not hearing nothing about helping people. Besides what I said in, I believe, my last video about, you know, the housing, what she talked about. Like I said, I that's, that's a problem, but there's still major hurdles in that which is the debt to ratio everybody can't afford these houses so unless you set something that's going to be uh, uh, affordable housing then hey which hey boxable <laughs> i'll be honest with you boxable is the only thing that i see that is affordable housing and i'm upset with them because uh it's been some years they've been taking investments getting funding, but I haven't seen no boxables delivered. Actually, I, I take that back. I did just watch a video like a week ago. But it's not too far. Uh, up in Oklahoma, where they're doing a little tiny home community. I think it's supposed to be like 12 of them. That's probably the only, it's 50,000. All you need is your land. And that, that's, that's as affordable as you gonna get. That's about the affordable house that I can see. Because even the things with, uh, I've been watching the 3D printing homes. I forgot the name of the company, but I've been watching them for years, for a few years. And they were supposed to be doing to make affordable. But now all I see is them making half a million dollar homes in Austin, which, granted, I get they got to build up their funding and, and all of that. So you got to sell high first, then maybe you can double back and uh, do some lower uh, uh, homes. But all I've been seeing with them is like half a million dollar homes down in Austin. It's a nice community. Community's nice. Don't get me wrong. I, I like the builds and the houses. But man, everybody's still doing those 
homes that are not affordable besides box school. But box school is not getting shit sent out. They need they need a mass production like we going into World War Three. All hands on deck. That, that's what they need to get them shit out. Cause I would love to do a little box school community. And uh, actually, I would do it for college students too. Cause these colleges be ripping kids off with the uh, dorm prices. It's just crazy. But uh, yeah, so all my RFK supporters, I hope. He continues on and keep pushing and they go ahead and get that percentage and they able to, to solidify themselves as a, a, a true independent party get that funded and uh, we just keep moving forward with that I stick with that then uh, jump into the other side right now like well let them two duel it out while we build in the background and we prepare for uh, 28 that's what I say but that's just me talking, that's my personal thing. Cause uh, these two parties can't work no more. They got to go. So, I just want to share that with y'all. Tell me what y'all think down in the comments. And this is, these are my own personal opinions. So I think I'm starting. <laughs> uh, uh, this is Mr. Mo Style in the Morning Show. I think, should I call it that? I know there's a lot of other morning shows out there, which I, I ain't gonna take credit for the mornings. The morning show, but this, but this is like the evening now. But uh, these are my own personal opinions. I've been watching too much AD. <laughs> Y'all know who that is? That's Anton Daniels. I've been watching too much of his platform because he got like multiple shows, which we got multiple shows. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up and hit that notification bell. And uh, stay up to date with the Most Out fam. And I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.